I have to admit, I started out with the ePortfolio feeling pretty hesitant because I am, as uh, as people have often described, a technophobe, and that means that I'm not used to waking web pages and I'm not used to playing with graphics, and I'm very much the kind of person who says, oh, I want to write a paper. But uh, the ePortfolio was really a collaborative piece, and I think that that was really the foundation of my learning. Uh, there would be about 10 of us that would get together at a time. We'd sit down, we'd go through how to incorporate the graphics, how to incorporate themes of each week, basically learning how to use the software together. And so it really became a chance to develop skill sets that were within us, but also to be able to learn through others. And I think that that created a sense of community among the group, but it also allowed for us to sort of see the potential learning that could happen when we invite others into our experiences. So I think really it was a meeting place. Well, the ePortfolio had four focus areas that we dealt with. There were unanticipated connections, so what happened that made us think about uh, different issues in a different light, um, inspired insight, so what were those aha moments that really transformed our understandings of India, of ourselves. Um, then there were magnificent failures, so really pivotal experiences that shook us um, and transformed us as well. And then I think the last one was um, Inspired insights, magnificent failures, un oh, an unanticipated connections, I think I might have mentioned that. But there were just four focus areas, and what they were centered around was sort of, well, how are you learning through others? How are you learning about yourself? And so you were able to situate um, being a learner and sort of focusing on things with your day-to-day -day experiences, going with your gut feelings, writing about that, but then you had the wider context of your community. What happened when you heard other people's stories, when you went to a temple, when you saw things through somebody's eyes? So what it really was, was a chance to sort of chronicle how you're developing your perspectives over time. Mm -hmm. So by um, trips end, you're not just seeing, all right, this is sort of how I was feeling in reference to me and my feelings, but you're seeing, wow, this is how I was interacting with the group, and this was this wonderful person that I met on the trip, and, and, and here are all the cultures I'm interacting with. It was really a piece that informed um, just the wider context of how we all learn and pick up information. Mm -hmm. so. I would say that if we hadn't had an e-portfolio, we wouldn't have had the chance to look back on the experience with the same amount of perspective. So that means that when I came back from my trip, I just didn't have a bunch of journals, but I also had, well, oh, I have to translate into that academic term. So I understood the psychology, the sociology, the, the, the peace efforts, the things that I was seeing. So really, it was a place where you could organize your thoughts and make them into a product that really made sense of the experience. And if I didn't have the ePort, I wouldn't have had the same instrument, I think, to understand how I learn as a person and understand how information is passed down. And also, I wouldn't have had the same insight onto the group, onto the different cultures that I met, and understanding how all of those interact and inform each other. So it really was an awareness piece, I think. Mm -hmm.